Hi everybody, I am Eric Martin. And I am Emily Austin. And, and together, together we are Austin and Martin Real Estate. Um, we've got a bit different backdrop today than what you've seen in our previous videos because our house is undergoing a paint job. Yeah. Um, but that's the topic for a future video. Today we want to talk about the five stages of change that somebody moves through emotionally. Um, this is work that was done by psychologists Don Kelly and Daryl Connor. It appears uh, in different formats in a lot of different places, but it mirrors what buyers are going through as they work through our market right now. So those five stages of change are? The first one is uninformed optimism. So reminds us of our buyers when they first get their pre-approval letter and they are ready and anxious to get out and look for homes. Yeah, so they maybe get a letter for 750 and they start looking at houses that are priced at 750. 750 and they think these look great, they're in my neighborhood, they're in my wheelhouse, we're going to go buy a house. Phase two? Informed pessimism. What's happening in phase two? Phase two, they've either lost an offer, maybe two, they're realizing that the houses are escalating well over what they're pre-approved for. The neighborhood they want is just out of reach, so on and so forth. Yeah, that price, that house price at 750 is not likely to sell at 750. So they have to start coming to some realizations about the market. Um, phase three. The valley of despair. The valley of despair. So at this point, they've maybe lost more than one offer, maybe lost a few offers are really starting to realize that the market is difficult um, and they might be feeling like, oh my God, we're not actually gonna be able to buy a house. Yeah. Phase four. Phase four is informed optimism, which is, it's a great sort of thing to witness with clients. The light bulb starts to go off in their head. They've learned a few things about what they're comfortable with in terms of their offer. They're starting to understand if they move a little out of the area they wanted to be originally, they have a little bit more leverage and things of that nature. Yeah, phase four is like, oh, we actually can do this. And this is how they now have a solid plan moving forward. Phase five. Success and fulfillment, so which means? They bought a house. Yeah, they right? did it. Um, and what's important here when you read this in the textbooks is a lot of people give up in phase two and phase three, um, which means eventually you're going to have to go back to phase one and start all over yeah. again. Our job as brokers is to get them across this valley as quickly as possible to get them from phase one all the way to phase five with as little time spent in the valley of despair as possible every once in a while we can skip the valley completely so yeah that's uh that's a great feeling when that happens but really being well informed and traveling through those emotions is key and information is key right getting to that informed optimistic place where they understand what they need to do to win hope that all makes sense eric martin I'm emily sorry. austin together we are austin, austin and, and martin. martin let us guide you home